Look at that cuteness. Thumbs up for babies. <laughs> you are something special. You are something special to me. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Baby Steps here on Baby League. Last week we talked about how to dine with the newborn. This week we travel overnight. At this point it's still pretty easy. We have been very blessed to have an easy baby and she's still so little. She sleeps a lot, but she does require a lot of stuff and a lot of planning ahead because you don't want to get somewhere and not have everything that you need. As first time parents, we overpack everything. Take it all. I can't imagine when she gets older or when she even gets a little bit older and we're actually having to take like toys and like place mats and food mats and tricycles and I'm gonna need a new truck. Huh. It was definitely a lot different than it was when it was just the two of us packing up and heading out for the weekend. We didn't want to take everything we own, but we did want to take a few things that may, will make our life easier when we are traveling. Like the sound machine when she's sleeping. The to, monitor. The monitor so we can watch her. Obviously she needed bottles. I needed my pump. She needed her clothes. <laughs> That's kind of an important thing. You got to pick out the right outfit too. You got to accessorize. And even though we were only going for like a day and a half, I had to pack several <laughs> outfits. She's a girl. She's got to change clothes. If That's you where y'all learn this junk. Yeah. And we've learned with the baby too, always pack more clothes than you need anyway because you never know what end something's going to come out Blowout of. Blowout city. A lot of times when you're going out of town, you're going to be doing some sightseeing, lots of walking around. I really enjoy the ergo. It's just sporty and it's the ergo performance. It's really comfortable actually. Yeah, it's really comfortable. It's easy. She loves it. And then you found it like the little Catan because it puts her in a different position. Because she can do her legs a little bit differently, lay a little bit differently. And like I said, it's really easy at this age because she does want to sleep a lot. It was just nice to be able to walk around. She was able to take her afternoon nap while we were out walking around and yes. doing things at a football game. <laughs> Roll tab. So after we got everything packed and got on the road, she did really well. Like we said in our our last video we made sure to feed her first make sure she's happy and situated she slept the whole way she loves to sleep in her car seats I know some babies don't some babies hate their car seats and will scream the whole way no matter how old they are sometimes a little lullaby CD will help we've got one of these things that goes on the back of the headrest it's got a built-in light and remote and some awesome music <laughs> let me terrible. tell you but for some reason whenever she happens to start crying or whatever we just turn it on and she's this like this thing does calm her down what is that <laughs> rock a baby in the treetop what's up don't stop popping hot what i'm just here to say what hey hey you always have to think about where your baby's gonna sleep where you're gonna change your baby all those things that you do every day at home and the certain places that you do them the place that we are staying actually already has a pack and play, but if you're going to a hotel, a lot of hotels have cribs, so if you just ask, you can get them to let you use a crib for your baby to sleep in, so you don't have to bring something extra. Anything that you might need to keep your baby comfortable, gas drops or something she sometimes needs, or a pacifier, because you don't want to be making a trip to the drugstore in the middle of the night. We also found we had to get creative with how to mount the monitor up so we could see her, because there's not necessarily a way to just mount it on the wall when you're traveling. So we just rigged up a little contraption there so that we can always watch her when she's sleeping. Also, we were hesitant to bring her bathtub because she's an infant and she doesn't need a bath every single day, but we were glad we did when she had that major blowout. We had a really great time and it was great getting out as a family and just doing something, especially since it is easy while she's this young. It's a good time to do it. Leave a comment with any of your travel tips or any crazy travel stories. I'm sure there's tons of awful, fun, exciting stories. I want to hear about them. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to Baby League. We put out videos every week. Wednesday. Thanks for watching, y'all. We'll see, see you next week. Bye. 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 Give her kisses. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> you are something special. You are something special to me.